Welcome to Lolly Tasking with ADHD. I am your host, Dr. Lolly, a multi passionate mom of three, a physician, and an ADHD life coach. Because, like most of you amazing women listening, I have ADHD. Join me as we chat about how ADHD affects our lives and learn strategies to help us all thrive, not just survive, with ADHD so we can live the life we want while accomplishing all our goals. Let's get started. Welcome to Lolly Tasking with ADHD. Again, I am Dr. Lolly Day, a physician and ADHD trained life coach who helps easily distracted women maximize their 24 hours so they can accomplish all their goals. Okay, so before we get started this week, I just want to give a shout out to one of our listeners who sent me a message and she was like, oh my gosh, this last episode was so amazing. And this is the episode where I talked um, mainly about being in the flow states uh, with um, Karen Brother. And she was like, you know, just the idea of me moving my body has made me do more exercise that I wanted to do and just changing the name of it has helped me a lot so thank you thank you thank you for that review um like I always said if you have any questions or if you want to leave a review if you want to hear anything feel free to contact me I'm an open book I'm always here to help you out okay all right so let's get on to the topic of today because I actually don't have a lot of time today. Uh, but so this morning I was um, like a good Christian girl. <laughs> I did not go to church. So usually when I don't go to church, I tend to like read my Bible or do something just to like, you know, get in the word. And maybe it's like my guilt trip for not going to church, right? But it's important to like reconnect. So while I was reading um, some old papers I have and reading the word, I came across like two verses and I was like, oh, okay, are you talking to me? And the first verse was Luke 14, 28. And it says, suppose one of you wants to build a tower. Won't you first sit down and estimate the cost to see if you have enough money to complete it? For if you lay the foundation and are not able to finish it, Everyone who sees it will ridicule you saying, this person began to build and wasn't able to finish it. Um, and then I read another one right after it. I was like, it, it has to be some kind of message on focus, right? It was just a little jot on the side of my notebook, of my journal. I said, put your outdoor work in order and get your friends ready after that build your house. So this right here, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is about planning. We need to plan. We need to plan. Even the Bible says we need to plan. <laughs> right? So it's been, I was just like, okay, where is this going? So I kept reading and I realized that the reason why we need to plan is because it helps us um it helps our focus it helps us know where we're going it's like the gps of our life and but then i got thinking i was like but most of with adhd the problem is not planning okay some of us are expert in planning some of us have a phd in planning some of us can even hyper focus in planning right like our problem a lot of times is not planning our pl- problem is one we plan and we don't look at it or two we get distracted right and we don't stay in the plan that we have set up okay so this is why today's podcast is titled guard your focus with adhd how to guard your focus with adhd right so focus is actually one of the most vital currency we have in this world okay because without focus it is hard to do anything again let me tell you right now without focus it is hard to do anything insert it without focus you can't it's just you may be able to do it but it is hard this is why people with adhd we have so many issues in our in our family we have issues in our work we have issues in so many different aspects of our life that stem from this adhd 
which is why I tell people what they're like, you know, I can't deal with my ADHD right now. My answer is always, guess what? You're already dealing with it because your distraction basically steals your focus away. And where your focus goes or where your heart is, which is another Bible verse, that's where you go, right? Where your focus is, that's where you, you where your um where your direction is is where your flow is, right? That's where your focus is. So it is very, 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 very important important that we master our focus or we focus or we um, master our focus and starve our distractions, okay? But how do we do that? And I thought of this idea. I didn't invent this. I've heard people say this before. In order to be on your focus, you have to guard your focus, okay? We already know distraction keeps us from being accomplished. And distraction is that little flirty thing that's always trying to steal your focus away, right? It's like that little devil on the left side. That's why distraction is enticing. You want to do it, right? Focus is boring. That's the truth. A lot of times when you want to focus on especially boring things that you're not totally interested in, it can be very boring. So I always say, instead of focusing on removing distraction in defense, which you should do, we need to focus on guarding our focus on offense. So what are the things you're going to put in place to guard your focus on offense, right? Focus is the most important currency again you have. So if you have if you have a million dollars, would you just let it lay down? No. You're going to put it in a bag. Not only would you put it in a bag, you're going to put it in an FDIC in short place, right? You're just not going to put it in any bag if you have a million dollars, right? Your wonderful Porsche, your Ferrari, your, or those amazing cars you guys have out there. If you have that beautiful car, you're just not going to leave it to chance and don't insure it. So think about guarding your focus as insuring your focus. Like, what do you need to do to make sure that your focus or the plan that you have created in the morning stays on track? Okay. And I call it playing offense to your focus okay your defense is still on guard now right you don't want to let your defense down but it is actually more important to play offense i always say in soccer in football in whatever sports you're playing if you have a banging defense and you don't have an amazing offense guess what you're still going to lose the game so you need both an offense and a defense of your focus to make this a reality, okay? So, you're like, okay, Dr. Lola, I've heard you. So, how do I guard your focus? How do I do this? How do I do that? All right. To guard your focus, first of all, you have to claim to be how you want to be. What does that mean? We all know you have ADHD. And ADHD is where you have too many things going on. You're, you focus on too many things right and we all know to really really um guard your focus you need to focus on one thing at a time we know that right but our problem is we just always want to focus on ten thousand things so i always tell myself okay i have this diagnosis of a creative brain of a hunter type brain i never like saying adhd right because when i say adhd my mindset is like okay I have attention deficit disorder. I have a disorder that can be changed and my attention is diminished. No, whereas our problem is we have too many attention, but we just need to focus on the one thing. So how do I do that? I change the name. I am focused on my goal. When you start your day, you were focused on your goal. One of my best, best, I think, I think it was Abe Link, uh, Abraham Lincoln that said this. And he said, like, uh, in order to, if I want to cut a tree, I would spend the first five hours sharpening my axe, right? Planning. So first, you have to plan your focus. You have something to do, right? If you have something to do, for example, you're like, okay, what do I need to do for 
let's say you have to write a paper okay what do i need to write a paper okay so that's number one number one is i am focused to write this paper and i would not move until this paper is done because i am focused to write this paper so but we also know that you you just say you are focused is the first step that changes your mindset okay when you say you're focused on writing the paper the next thing you need to think about now is what are the things i need to put in place to make sure i actually write this paper right so you put your stuff in a gps and you're trying to go to your destination what are the things you need to make sure that you get to your destination do you need snacks in your car do you need fuel in your gas? Do you need um, gas in your tank? Do you need uh, easy, a chilly place? So do you need your jacket, right? Same thing. These I see as strategies. What strategies are going to make you accomplish this goal? So do you need to train your brain? My answer is yes. Okay. And that's where coaching comes in. A lot of people don't understand coaching. And from the from what I usually say is coaching is basically cognitive behavior therapy that we do as your partner to help you achieve your goal. Right? We don't do it for you, but we guide you. We're by your side, making sure you don't trip. Kind of like when you're riding a bicycle for the first time without training meals and you keep like leaning to the left leaning to the right and we keep holding you until you get your balance right right so same thing as a coach we are helping you get your balance right and then once you get your balance right we let you just ride that back that bike right so number one is train your brain you need everybody's brain is different not all brains are the same even if you all have ADHD or if you all lack focus, you don't all have the same brain. So it is very important to have that person who can help you train your brain in a way that helps you accomplish your goal. The next thing also is in you. You have to practice mindfulness and meditation. Why is that important? There's actually been a lot of studies that have shown that mindfulness or being still has helped a lot of people with ADHD. And I think the reason why is our brain is so used to going go, 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 that when it's time for us to focus, it is hard for us to focus. So if you practice mindfulness when you don't necessarily need to focus on something important, when it is time to focus, your brain is kind of now kind of used to it, right? It's all about, you know, trying to stay ready so you don't have to get ready. If you never practice mindfulness and all of a sudden you have this big project to do that you really don't care for, it's going to be really, 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 really hard for you to stay focused, okay? The next one is, besides practicing mindfulness and training your brain, is to making sure you get sleep. Getting enough sleep or taking breaks helps a lot because when you have enough sleep, you have an increased dopamine in that synapse, right? So even before you start your paper that we're talking about, if you're too tired, guess what? Your ADHD symptoms is very heightened and we don't want that. So in you making sure you get your eight to nine hours, some say six to eight hours, sure. Six to eight hours, quality sleep. And I say quality sleep, when you go into REM sleep, not like this insomnia things that some of us with ADHD have. So having six to eight hours quality sleep will help you with your focus. Another thing that has helped me with my focus is learning to trust yourself. This, I think, is one of the hardest part for a lot of people with ADHD. We have let ourselves down so many times that we don't even trust ourselves anymore. We've let ourselves so many times that we're like, oh, you know, I know me. I'm not going to get it done. 
But guess what? As soon as you said you're not going to get it done, you have defeated. You have basically told yourself you cannot get it done. So you have to learn to re-trust yourself. And these are some of the things I teach people in our coaching program on how to re-trust yourself. What are you doing that is making you feel like you're going to do it and that you don't follow through? Okay, you may need to take little steps. You may need to start with like just telling yourself, you know what, I'm going to close my eyes for five minutes and truly close your eyes for five minutes. Because guess what? As soon as you tell yourself you're going to do something, you don't do it. You're training your brain not to believe you. Right. So it is important to retrain your brain to be able to believe what you say and have a mindset where your word is bond. Your word is a signature that if I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. However, this does not come easy to us because a lot of times we have told ourselves we're going to do it and we don't follow through on it. So we have to relearn how to trust ourselves again. Okay, Trust cannot be bought. It has to be earned. So how do you earn those trust? Those are things that can help you with, you know, it's we could totally do a whole podcast on trusting yourself. Okay. So the last thing is choose your focus. Oh, choose to not on. Choose to focus on the moment, right? So focus, I saw this the morning a while back ago. It said focus is F O C U S, which is Follow one course until success or also be successful, I think is what it said. Follow one course until be success uh, until succeeded. Yeah. Okay. Why is this very important? Again, distraction is when you have that shiny ball syndrome. Every time you see something, you're like a little rabbit. You hit on it. You want to do it. You want to do that too. You want to do that too. But if you just focus on one thing, it is it will be so much easier to accomplish the goal you want to accomplish. And then while you're doing it, you want to be present in it, right? You want to put all your all during that block of time that you are focusing on, aka writing those papers. Then number three. Thing. And so, number one, I said you have to, you know, basically claim to be who you are. So, you're a focused person. Number two, you have to come up with strategies that help your productivity and focus, which can be done through coaching. And number, that was number two. And number three, you have to be in an environment that is conducive to focus. So, what does that mean? Are you sitting on a desk where whenever you sit down there, it helps your creativity or it helps you learn or it it helps you be able to be the best that you can be, right? Is your environment cluttered? Is your brain cluttered? Are you trying to multitask? Did you know that there's been studies that show that people who multitask actually lose productivity by 30%, right? Right? And we we ADHD, we like to think, oh my gosh, we're so amazing at multitasking. So this is why it is so important that we don't multitask. And we just focus on one course until, until we succeed. And then you also want to connect with nature. You want to connect with nature. You want to connect with people. You want to have a community that would help you with your focus, all right? So these are the things that I always use to guard my focus. So when I wanna start something, I tell myself I am a focused person and I will get this done, okay? That's number one. Number two, I create a time when I would be able to get this done. Like I, I have a time limit that I have to do this and I take breaks. Then I also put in place things like office. It just depends on what you're doing. So, for example, we're talking about writing a paper, right? So I have an office that, okay, when I'm writing my paper, I have 
my door closed do i have a note on my door that i'm busy that when nobody calls me i put my phone on airplane mode right i i practice mindfulness before i start i take breaks in between every 25 minutes right because we know breaks are good for our brain i go outside after like an hour for like five minutes that i can get some vitamin d right and then i have in my in front of me follow one course onto success right and i have the the amazing environment there then the last thing is community do you have a community holding you accountable if you truly truly want to guard your focus you need be, to be around other people who also want to guard your focus so it is very 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 important we do this okay so i think i'm gonna stop here again another short episode you know how i am again i heard this somewhere and i don't know who said it but i'm gonna say it because i think it's amazing all right focus is faith and the faith to keep following one course until success focus is fate and it's the fate to keep following one course until success if you follow one course you're likely to succeed if you starve distraction you're likely to succeed and then another quote i heard this so i gotta find out who said this because i think it was genius say distraction is flirty and seductive and it will fascinate you only to assassinate your dreams. Distraction is flirty and seductive and it will fascinate you only to assassinate your dreams. If you guys know who said this, please let me know so I can give credit. I, I, I love that quote. Okay, so that's it for another episode of Lolly Tasking with ADHD. Again, today we learned about focus. And I want you to like just while you're listening today, just pick one thing. What is one thing I'm going to start doing to help me guard my focus, right? Am I going to start planning and not only planning, but having things in place to make sure I follow through on my plan? If that's all you get from this episode, I'll be very happy, right? Because at the end of the day, you have the power to change you. You have the power to train your brain. You have the power to be who you can be and maximize the short time you have on earth to accomplish your goal, okay? So again, um, thanks again for hanging out with me on another amazing episode of Lolly Taskin. Don't be a stranger. Join us on our Facebook group, Thrive in Spite of ADHD. Oh, also, every Tuesday at 7 p.m., I don't know how long I'm going to do this for, but I'm loving it so far, for about 45 minutes. I go on Clubhouse and we talk about the episode from the day prior. So if you're watching this on the Monday in which this is being published, I will see you in Clubhouse tomorrow at 7 p.m. where I could talk about the this more we can expand more i can answer questions i just love doing this okay so again don't forget to follow us on our ig don't forget to to just focus guard that focus again focus is vital without focus you would not be able to accomplish your dreams without working too too hard okay so until next time remember you can do it too it's a plan, a little bit of balance, and a dash of determination. Thanks for hanging out with us on another episode of Lolly Tasking with ADHD. If you like what you've heard today, I would love for you to click the subscribe button, write, and leave a great review in addition to share with your friends. Your review allows visibility and also allows other amazing women to find this podcast. Also, if you have any questions or topics you would like for us to discuss, please contact me via direct message on Instagram at lollytasker or email us at hello at lollytasking.com. Till next time, this is Lollytasking with ADHD.